Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to explore another American fast food chain in Taiwan. The last time I was here we tried McDonald's Taiwan, we tried 7-Eleven Taiwan, so today we are going to try KFC in Taiwan and I have heard a lot of great things about the KFC here. They have some different items and we're just going to go see what it's all about, so let's go. Okay, so we just got all our food and we ordered a lot for just one person. But I wanted to try all their special stuff that they don't have in the US as well as a few things that they do have in the US just so I can compare. So I actually got two things. One of them is a combo and on the menu it said like peanut lava zinger. I think that's what it was called. And that just sounds really interesting. There was no other description besides just peanut lava zinger. So I was like, I guess we're trying that. And the combo also comes with a hot and spicy, a drink, some fries, as well as an egg tart, which I'm super excited to try the egg tart because I've heard so many good things about the KFC egg tart. So all of that is 185 and that's like a little more than $6 USD. So really not bad prices here. That's the first item we got. And then the second item I got was kind of like a snack combo that you could create yourself. So they had three lists, A, B, and C, and you could choose one thing from each list. So I chose popcorn chicken, sweet potato balls, which was cool that they actually sell sweet potato balls at KFC in Taiwan because I basically just see these at the night market. I didn't know that they would actually sell them in a fast food chain restaurant. And then the third list is just drinks, so I chose a uh, green tea. So let me start with the snack combo thing that I ordered first. So they give you this little basket and here I have the sweet potato balls as well as the popcorn chicken. So I'm gonna try the popcorn chicken first and I've had popcorn chicken and KFC in the States but it was quite a while ago so I'm not sure if I quite remember exactly what it tastes like but let's try this one from Taiwan. The chicken is really, really juicy. Actually kind of spicy. There is definitely a cook in there. And it has this kind of like Asian flavor, almost like a, a chili powder flavor that you would put on like Taiwanese fried chicken. Mmm, it's pretty good. I will say that the battering on the outside kind of needs more crispiness. It definitely needs to be like fried more, I think, because it's kind of this light yellow brown color, whereas I want it to be that golden brown, you know what I mean? But this is pretty good. I'm shocked. I thought it was gonna taste just like the US popcorn chicken at KFC, but it definitely is different. Like it has a little Asian twist on there with that chili powder, that spiciness to it. Really good. Mm. Okay, so let's try these sweet potato balls. They're actually so tiny. The sweet potato balls that you can buy at the night market are usually much bigger than this and they're much puffier. They look more light and airy inside because when they make it at the night market, they throw it in the fryer. It just puffs up kind of like a balloon, but this one looks more dense and it's small, so let's try it. Mmm, there's filling inside. It looks like a dark purple filling. I think it's probably like a purple sweet potato. Mmm, very interesting. Okay. I did not expect there to be filling. Mmm, this one has filling too, but it's yellow. So the purple ones have yellow filling and the yellow ones have purple filling. These are kind of a fun little snack to pop in your mouth. They definitely are a lot more dense than the night market ones. It almost has like a chewy mochi outer layer fried on the outside. It's not super crispy though. And then the inside they have like that um, sweet potato paste. Oh my gosh, this peanut lava zinger is really just staring me in the face because it just says peanuts right on the top in big letters. So I think I just need to try it out. I want to see what this looks like inside. Oh my God. This thing is huge. Look at that. Look at how big this is. Wow. Oh my God, it smells like peanuts. It really does smell like peanuts. And it looks like we have an egg, but it's like almost like a omelet type of egg in there. Like it's very thin and soft. Like it looks so squishy, which is very unique. Usually you'll see like a fried egg or something. Oh my God, there's a hash brown in here. Okay, I did not know that. So we got the hash brown in there as well as the peanut sauce is all over it and some lettuce. I think that's everything. This thing is a beast. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of nervous about that peanut sauce. I don't know how good it's gonna taste in here, but let's just give it a try. Going in with an open mind.
Okay, I know you guys are dying to know how this zinger burger thingy is, but I just had to stop and say that I apologize for the grossness that is on my mouth. It, it continues for a lot of the video and I'm sorry. So please ignore it uh, and let's just not talk about it, okay? Okay. It's so interesting. Wow, a lot of things going on in here. But the first thing I tasted was definitely that peanut. It almost is like putting peanut butter in it. I don't know if I like it, but I don't hate it so far. I'm gonna need to take another bite. But also, the chicken in here is also spicy, just like the popcorn chicken. Is all of the fried chicken at KFC like spicy as a default? Because I didn't ask for it being spicy or anything. Although I do like that it's spicy, I just, I didn't ask for it. So I wonder if that's just how they make all their chicken? It's so bizarre. That peanut thing is so like weird. But it's kind of it's kind of growing on me. This is so interesting. You guys, I'm serious. It literally is like putting peanut butter in your fried chicken sandwich. Is this a thing? Did they make this because this is a thing? Or are they just trying to be innovative? Like, I'm confused. Especially because they put the peanut sauce at the top of the burger. So it's one of the first things you're tasting. Like, it's almost like coating your mouth so that with each bite, you still have that peanut flavor lingering in there. But it actually is kind of good. Like, kind of. I'm still trying to get my final thoughts on it, but you know, it's really, really not bad. And it's interesting since that chicken is spicy too. <laughs> the egg, you can't really taste the egg, honestly, especially because you have so many overpowering flavors here. And you also can't really taste the hash brown. It's kind of when I bite into it, it's like very crunchy. And then you got the juicy chicken. And then you have this peanut butter flavor and a spicy flavor as well. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break from that burger. Try some of their fries. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. This tastes exactly like the KFC fries at home. But the beautiful seasoning on there. Mm. Mm. These are good fries. Mm. Love that they're crispy. Love that they're seasoned perfectly. Mm. So good, so addicting. <laughs> so this is the hot and spicy chicken that the combo came with. Looks nice and crispy, but I imagine it's probably gonna taste like the popcorn chicken and like the chicken in the sandwich since those were also spicy. <laughs> so I think this is just kind of a, a thigh version of those things. Yep, it does have that spice. The same spice that we've been getting in all the other chicken. Mm. Oh man, this is delicious. So juicy, oh my goodness. You know, I'm surprised if it is true that the default chicken is just spicy. Because you know, not everyone can handle spicy, but maybe in like Taiwan, like everyone can, I don't know. Cause I think if this happened in the US, people would be like, their mouths would be on fire. A lot of people cannot handle spicy. So I don't know if it's just a Taiwan thing or what. Hmm. Okay now, I can't wait any longer to try this egg tart. Oh my gosh, I wanna just break it open for you guys to see the inside. The crust looks extremely flaky and that custard, it looks beautiful. All right, let's break this open. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that filling. That looks like a solid egg tart. The crust is so flaky, almost like a croissant. Oh my gosh, okay, let's try the egg tart. I'm so excited. Wow, that custard is so smooth. It like just set perfectly enough, almost like a creme brulee kind of texture inside the egg tart. The filling is like kind of light and it's also not too sweet, which I love. Mm, just the perfect amount of sweetness. And then it's super, super flaky. Mm, tastes very buttery. And it still has a little bit of that crisp and crunch when you bite into it. Mm. Who knew KFC could do egg tarts this good? And egg tarts is actually one of KFC's best sellers here. Like they have this sign outside of the store that's advertising the egg tarts. So people really like these egg tarts here apparently. I can totally see why, it's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just finished up at KFC and that was a very interesting experience to say the least. I definitely am in love with the egg tart. I probably need to get another one before I leave. And you know that peanut zinger sandwich thing actually was not bad. Like, 
I would eat it again, I think. But I definitely cannot finish a whole one by myself. It's very overpowering of peanut butter flavor. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys thought of the things we got at KFC in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen my 7-Eleven Taiwan video or my McDonald's Taiwan video, I'm going to link them right here so that you can check them out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.